We're in the middle of discussing the mitzvah of Birkas HaTorah, the bracha we make before we study Torah. So we'll, we'll go back and review and continue on. So just to go over to so the basics, we discussed a machokas. We shown him, perhaps definitely the Ramban who holds its Daraisa, perhaps the Rambam who holds its Darabanan, but the Birkas HaTorah is a bracha min Torah or is a bracha midrabanan? 90% plus are mostly a bracha midrabanan. Birkas Torah, according to the Ramban, is a bracha min Torah. He says it explicitly. Kishem Hashem Ekra Hava Golda Lo Kena. It's the Gemara in Brachas. When you call out God's name, when you learn the Torah, you have to make a bracha by Moshe Rabbeinu, different sources. So the Ramban clearly states it's the Raisa. The Ramam doesn't mention it, which leads to the whole gamut of opinions whether he doesn't count it in the Tariag Mitzvah because it's a Mitzvah de Rabbanan. Or no, of course he counts it, but it's just included in one of the other Mitzvahs, perhaps Talmud Torah. Like he does by other Mitzvahs, he doesn't count them separately. He includes, he includes other many Mitzvahs sometimes in one, like the Mitzvah of Hachreim Tachreim, Gavin writes, he includes in the mitzvah of Yishev Eretz Yisrael. See, that's why he doesn't write it's a mitzvah. Again, within the Rambam, every time he leaves something out, you have a discussion whether it's a fundamental machokas or a technical issue. So either way, we'll call it a machokas Rambam Ramban. And we pointed out, perhaps, the issue is, if you hold it's the right to Rabbanan, is what is the nature of the bracha? The Ramban clearly states, it's a bircha shevach v'holdah. It's a bracha thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that he gave us the Torah. So the Ramban clearly states it's the Raisa. He clearly states it's the Birch HaShavach, although whether it's coincidental or a Tain one could, you know, one could discuss that. But at least there's what to discuss. If it's the Birch HaShavach, so Sudas, although we have the concept of the Raisa. But the Rambam, who will say holds it's the Rabbanan, so if he holds it's the Birch HaShavach, that fits in with the with the classical Birchas HaMitzvah. All the Birchas HaMitzvahs we make are only Durabanan. So that's perhaps this issue, the rice of Durabanan, could be whether it's a Birchas HaMitzvah or a Birchas If it's a Birchas HaShavach, you can entertain it's the Raisa. Not according to the Ramban, you're not entertaining it, you're saying it. According to the Rambam, who leaves it out, and when we assume it's a Birchas HaMitzvah, and it's only a Mitzvah Durabanan, Mainaf, Kamina, Daraisa, Durabana, we're all going to get up tomorrow morning and say, Birchas HaTorah. So he said perhaps Suffolk, or perhaps not Suffolk, because the question is, we usually, in general, let's say if you're not sure, you have Lulav on the first day. You're not sure if you fulfilled the Mitzvah in HaTorah. So it's a Machokas, Rambam, Raivid, everyone agrees you go back. Suffolk, Daraisa, Luchumra. The question is, do you make a new bracha when you go back? If it's the first day, and we're talking about a Daraisa and Lulav, and you know, you're not sure if you went back, so you definitely go back. The Rambam says, no bracha. And the Ravid says, no, you go back to scratch. You're doing the mitzvah again, you make a new bracha. That's a Machogus Rambam. Ravid, we generally pass in like the Rambam on this one, that when we go back, we seem to work with Suffolk, Brachos, Vahakel. Suffolk, Daraisa, Uchumra. But on the bracha here, it's a little more touchy because... If you hold according to the Ramban that Birchas Torah is the Raisa, so then maybe there is no Suffolk Brachas Rachel, but since maybe it's a Sveikat the Dina, Wachoshish Rashita Sarambam, so what do we do? So the luck is the post can bring down, we kind of make a compromise. We only we go back, again, assuming you didn't have yet an Ava Rabba and you weren't going to say with Ava Rabba, but assuming you're getting up. You know, five o'clock in the morning to learn before davening. You don't plan on davening for another couple of hours, and you want to learn. So, uh, so therefore, and you're not sure if you already made. You know, you're half asleep. You don't usually wake up at five in the morning. So you don't know if you made your beer because that's all right. So, the, so therefore, the post can bring down. You make only one bracha. Shabbacha banu mikol amim, and that's because really, if you look at the Gemara, it's three different opinions on what brachas you make. So, according to some, it's not like Yechayev to make our many because we make all three. But it isn't necessarily like they're all different, each one is suggesting their own. So, in the case of a Suffolk, they say this to go back on Asher Bachabana Mikola Amim. But 
So that's so therefore Safik Brachas Rahaki we're not gonna repeat all all the brachas. And then we discuss Safik Brachas Rahaku should really mean you say none of them. To say that Bracha is, 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 is I know the question is is, is, is it not issue? an unusual application of Safik Brachas Rahaku. No, Safik According to the Ramban, in theory, you should go back and say all of them. It depends. But with the post am I saying, since my Iker Hadin, forget about it. tomorrow morning, you said Asha Bacha Banami Kol Amim, Bidiyevid, you could be Yotze, Yibirka, Zat Torah. So, because the post am I saying, really, any one of the three you Yotze with, our meaning is to make all three. So, let's just point down in the case of a Suffolk, the meaning is. Don't do, you know, don't add extra brachas if you don't have to. When you're going back for suffix, that's how, the, that's how I mean it's a compromise. They say, Mirka Adin, you only need one bracha. So therefore, you know, whatever the reason, how many gets we make, we'll see why. Why we make different brachas, we'll get into it. But that's why they say, you're right. But, and here it's suffix brachas because here, Birka Satora, is, it's a machok, it's the Ramban and Rambam. So it's a question whether it's, a, it's you know, whether it's a suffix to rice or a suffix to But either way, so this issue whether it's the rice or the rabbanon seems to be dependent if it's a birka shavak or birka mitzvah. So we started giving different nafkaminas between. Is it clear according to the ramban that if it's a suffix, you do not say it? No. I thought you do say it. Right. No. According, pasha you would say according to the ramban if he holds that he does. Yeah. But the ramban there holds. Two reasons why not to. One is suffix brachas lahakel might apply to a deraisa too. And secondly, it's a, it's a birchas shavach. Maybe that only applies when you're saying it once and you know it's for sure a derisa. Right, now they bring, right, the, right and so they, you know, they bring the first one down also, right. But, that's, but in Lambdas, the second one's also true. I mean, assuming, you know, if you can, we normally, is there a difference making a birchas shavach a second time versus making a birchas a mitzvah a second? That may be, you know, obviously we don't do it, but perhaps it is. So the Ramban doesn't say no, the, himself. No, the, no, the Ramban himself doesn't say, but they're saying if you just strictly go with the principle, you're right. Then the question is, why it gets into why do we say Suffolk Brachas So if you assume it's if you assume it's because it's the Rabbanan, then it would come out. But right, it's not so simple. It has to do because because it has to do also with the Ramban who holds that you violated the Raisa if you make a Bracha Shein Tzricha. Well, well, Tosis. Holds it's only a draw, but that could, it could depend on that question also. What avail you'd be over if you did it versus to you know the gain. What would be other examples of a birkas sheva? Well, we have birkas and mitzvahs and we have birkas and yeah. I'll give you another example of another yeah. machokas. Yeah, birkas. Well, that's yeah. birkas. Well, that's machokas. Yeah, that's the one I was going to bring. Is that sheva? Well, that's the birkas. That's the one I was going to give an example. Birkas erisin is a machokas to Rambam and the Rush. The Rambam sheet is Birkas Eretz and is a Birkas HaMitzvah. And the Rush in Ksuvah says, what are you talking about? Why don't we make the bracha? It should be Asher Kedush HaMitzvah V'tzivanu. Mitzvah Eretz and Mitzvah Kedushim, L'Kadish Yisha. So therefore, the Rush writes, it's a Birkas Shevach V'Holdah. So it's a Machokas Rambam and Rush, whether Birkas Eretz is a Birkas HaMitzvah, Maynaf Kamina. The nafkamina is, do you have to make the bracha over last yasan or not? Because we know if it's a birkas mitzvah, so then you have to make the bracha first. That's, that's the Rambam right. I think that's the Lashon of Rambam, the varach over last yasan, kol birkas mitzvah. And according to the rush, not that, you, not that the rush says you can't make it before, but it will make more sense. You're thanking God after the thing happened. <laughs> Thunder and lightning, or whatever the, you know, whatever birkas shavach is. And there's an interesting rivet shita which is in the middle. The Ravid writes, you make the bracha after the Kiddushin, but he holds it to Birka Samitzvah. <laughs> so it's a kind of issue with the Rambam, he's consistent. Rambam, Birka Samitzvah before, the Rush, Birka Samitzvah after. What's Pshad in the Ravid? It's a Birka Samitzvah after. That's because he says of another cloud. The cloud is, any time you do a mitzvah, which is not completely in your control, it's totally Bedas HaKerim, so you, you, we don't make a bracha because it might be a bracha so the, the, the woman might say no so therefore you wait until she accepts the condition and then you can make it like, like, the, like the famous Tshuva Sarash by Tzedakah yeah. so you don't make a bracha but there we don't make a bracha at all over here we make it after so that's the, that gets into different reasons why in Tzedakah 
you don't make a baby something which could be ikar v'machshava, and therefore Chazal never. There are other reasons you have to give white tzedak. It's different, right? But either way, that's another. That's actually another. It's another. It's actually it's a good example because it's a machok. It's also like birchas hatora on whether it's a birchas mitzvah or birchas sheva klahoda. But birchas adam benod nachavira, we never make it bracha. Right. But so it's not for his benod and the chaveiro. Yeah, no, that's, and, it, and it shouldn't be brought at all. Right, that's what the that's the Rambam shita. The Ram, that's what the, the according to the Rambam, that's what he writes. You don't make brachas on mitzvahs the other mechaveiro, and therefore, number one, number one, we see kedushin is a mitzvah b'adam on the institution of marriage because the Rambam says you do make a bracha, and then right, that's only on. That's why that's the whole machokus by yisholach manas, yisholach manas. That the question is, why don't we make a bracha by Mishab by Shalach Mana? So therefore, so some say that that he might, you know, the person might not accept the Shalach Mana. It's totally bedasa cheirim, and therefore you can't make a bracha. However, that's not so simple. It's true because the Ramah Paskins, that someone, if someone, if you send someone Shalach Mana, says thanks, but no thanks, you are yotze. So according to the Ramah, what's the answer? You have, then you have to come on to the Rambam. That the reason why you don't make a bracha is because it's a mitzvah and a So, yes. Yeah, the ra- the same powers of Taz of Imai? The same. With Pekka. Yeah. Yeah. But I suppose you'd also say it's better than a Chavero. Right. Well, that's a but that all depends on. That's well, actually, we, we, that's we, actually we, a question. But Sar Bali Chaim is a Shiloh, it's for the other Mana. Yeah, that itself is the Macho. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a good way to lose lose a potential friend. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you gotta stop and say the rough of the Kabbalah before you help him out. Right. <laughs> right, so therefore, that's, so <coughs> that's the same Macho as we have by Bircha Zerison. So, what is the Nafka mean? It's sort of, so we discussed what you have to learn immediately after making the bracha. So of course our minute is in the sitter we have it. That's because we're just going l'chumra and all the, Whenever we can, we go l'chumra, so we cover both shittas. But however, so according to the Rambam, who holds it to Birch HaSam Mitzvah, or at least that's the assumption that the Rambam holds, so then you have to learn right away. According to the Ramban, it's a Birch HaSheva There's no reason you have to learn right away. In other words, there's no problem in theory of learning and you know, and then may, and maybe, you know, I guess there is no end to learning, but there is no problem in theory this learning and then making a Birchas HaTorah in between later on. But according to the Rambam, you clearly have to learn immediately after the Bracha. But according to the Rambam, there's no reason um, you would have to. And that's the same issue as Hefzik, as we discussed. It's a famous Machokas Rush and Rabbein Otam about someone takes a Shina's, Shina's Keva Bayom. We all assume that if you take, you go your normal night's sleep, you wake up, you make a bracha in the morning. But it's interesting, Machok is the Russia and Rabbeinu Tam, if you take a nice uh, sleep in the afternoon or oh, and for an hour, two hours, and you wake up and you want to learn. So, according to the Russia, you need a new bracha. According to Rabbeinu Tam, no bracha. What's the issue? What's in the Kudus HaMachok? Is why does the Rush require you to make a new Birchus HaTorah after a two hour sleep and the Rabbi Otam doesn't? So it appears to be this issue. The Rush seems to be learning. It's a Birchus mitzvah. So like any other Birchus mitzvah, if you have a Hefzik in between, you have to make a new Bracha. Like you walk in and out of the Sukkah a couple of hours later, you make a, bra- a new Bracha. However, Rabbi Otam holds it's a Birchus Sheva. Every once a day, Every day, when you wake up in the morning, you thank God that He gave us the Torah. It's not on the Lima Torah, so what's the difference if you slept or not? According to Rabbani, if you didn't learn, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> I guess the Nafkamini is whether well, you have to learn at all, <laughs> perhaps. What, what would the difference be between whether you're asleep or not? Hefzik is Hefzik. Yeah, but so so it's not the, sleeping. So the same to should apply if you, if you just have a few hours of not... That's a good question. We'll get to the question, is that a Hefzik? You're right. But I know what you're really thinking when you when you don't know you're thinking about it. By shlichus, you deal with that. If you if you, if you have a shliach who falls asleep, uh, he doesn't have to. It doesn't start the shlichus again. No, right now we'll, I'm saying we'll see. But that by, by this question here, we'll, tosis, we'll explain. Tosis discusses that. So 
So, the, so therefore, according to the rush, you need a new bracha. Because they say, right, the sleeping is an example. According to the rush, you're right. Anything that con- we have to see what constitutes a hefsik, but anything that does constitute a hefsik, you would require a new bracha. According to Rabbi Tam, one bracha once a day. So all three brachas are shpirch or shvach according well, to Rabbi Tam. Uh, we'll have to right, we'll have to see. Assuming right, assuming the Rishonim weren't that they're talking about all so that's, but but right, Pash is what we're saying right now. That's what they're saying. The way. Some explain it. Fit, well, like I know. General Shita has to go. Is that the whether it's La or Al, right? No, right. So they have to have to. <coughs> no, that's oh. what, so that's why some point out that that really to Miyashi both Shita are talking about two different brachas. So I want to say La Sok B'Divrei Torah. That's the Birchas Hamitzvah. Asher Bacha Bana Mikol Hamim. That's the you know to uh-huh. lead into your question. That's what some that's what some Akronim want to say. They really you, you know. Um, so then you do have to. So then you no, would no, now you messed up either way. I no, guess. right, either way. I'm saying <laughs> no, but I'm saying that's how right. Then they, either whatever approach you take, you're gonna have to answer up some questions, right? The problem with this approach is no, then, but it's particularly strong for a bit of time because right. he says when you you have a lama. Uh, no, but then, but then, no, but then, but then it goes on and gets back to really since even if you have a hesitic, but since you maybe since you're ready, um, you know, if, if you just make the asha bachaban or another one again. But right, no, I, but you're right. With, they're not going with shitasam. They're just saying they're just saying the lambdas in general without actually fitting it in, uh-huh. working it through to the logic right. So I'm saying either way, if you work any logical extreme, the halach are probably not going to be exactly like anyone because many many times we try to you know we we'll mock mer on both ends. So <coughs> as we'll see. So that's what the machaber points out. To, as we point out, the magen Ram, the reverse of this question is. Staying up all night. It doesn't have to be Shruis. It could be Oshana Raba. It could be any other night. You stay up all night and you didn't have a hefsik. So then you, you need a new bracha the next day. So according to the Rush, no, there was no hefsik, no new bracha. According to Rabbi Hotam, of course you need a new bracha. Who cares about a hefsik? You don't need a hefsik. It's a birch shavach once a day, every day. So it seems to, it seems to be a steer in the machaber. So because he seems to go not to make a bracha in both cases because he says no bracha if you sleep during the day implying like Rabbi Tam, but he also says no but he also says no bracha if you stay up all night implying like the rush then hence the Magen Avram rejects the Machaber and says he goes with Rabbi Tam completely no bracha during the day but yes a bracha the next morning. The post can try to say no, that really the Machabah really goes with with the Rosh Hashita, but it's only at Suffolk Bracha. They try to you know, try to answer up, it's break the Dean of The bottom line is, according to the Rush, no if it, if there's a half six so day, during the day or it doesn't make a difference one, if you have a half six you can make a new bracha. So if you sleep during the day, yes. If you're up all night, no. But according to Renault Tom the reverse, because it's a beer called Shavach, and it's not, it's not, we don't... And Beshosheb doesn't, doesn't explain? No he, no, he does, therefore they say that he's really working with the Shittas HaRush, uh, and with Koshish Rashid, right on top. He says it in the Beshosheb. No, no, I think the later post him. The Beshosheb doesn't, he doesn't explain it? I don't think he says he spells that this specific, but, mm-hmm. but I know, uh, I'm assuming because they don't quote the Beis Yosef, unless they do, I have to check. I know the Mishnah Brewer, other posts can bring down, or give Eger, I don't remember them quoting the base of they could be quoting the base of without quoting them. Like I saw it brought down, so either they're quoting the base of without saying it was them mm. or they're just saying it. And Rabbi Kiva Eger says the same thing. He really thinks the Machabra Pasim is like the rush and he comes on to a whole thing about uh, that's what his aid was to take a sleep during the day, take a nice gazun to rest during the day, and then he says according to everyone, come the next morning you can make a bracha. Mm. Yeah. Do you think that um, if you make the bracha, you don't have to learn immediately? And the rationale was because it's not a, a bracha that's going on a mitzvah. Right, that would be the issue. If it's a birchas mitzvah, you have to learn right away. If it's a birchas well does, there's no need. So, give an example of one of those other mitzvahs that you would do that you you could wait for an hour before, like if you see lightning or something, you could wait two hours before making a bracha. No, you can't. You can't wait. Before. Number one is you have to see the light, and number one is you can't make it before you see it. But then, in terms of, let's say, Birchus Erison, so according to the 
Let's say according to the rush, you can make the bracha after the kedushin is over. According to everyone, probably it has to be some, depending on what the mitzvah is. It's not the, it's not the din hefsek, but the, the person know you're making a bracha. It has to be attached to something. So therefore, I could, you know, like if you, if you make. Um, you're asking, he's asking you if it's a birch or a mitzvah. Isn't that what you're saying? No, 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 if it's not a birch. Oh, if it's not. Okay. No, if it's a birch, then you have to, but if it's a birch, then it's a shavach, so then it's not the same dini hefsek, but for other reasons, I want to make it recognizable <coughs> by the bracha you're making has to do with, you know, to make a bracha now on lightning, and it will, it did that six hours ago, yeah. you know, that's a, yeah. Yeah. that depends how, you say anything, you know, that's how, I'm trying to use the same logic. Exactly. No, the Birkas the, 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 the Torah is different anyway because every moment you have a Chiyav and <coughs> you could be learning, you can't control, you don't control, you have no idea when it's going to thunder or lightning again or other things like that. I mean, the, com- the comparison isn't good to Birkas the, 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 the place where the Rosh deals with that specifically is by Brismila. Because he holds it's a birchas, the second bracha is a birchas sheva, right. and then they talk about if you're doing the tisa afterwards, yeah. and he says, that's, yeah. and he says it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's birchas sheva. It, right, it, that's anyway. what they talk about, the yeah. same issue by two brachas, but that's why the minchas chinach writes, you want to have some compromise, you like sneak it, you do in beach, you want to have it over last the other, and you have to write, that's the same. And he says like you, yeah. it doesn't matter, you do it afterwards. But birchas Torah really doesn't fit into any category. Birchas Torah consists really of four brachas. Four? Two long ones and two short ones. Uh, maybe well, the two or three. The two and a half. It's either two or three. The Ramam says three, other Rishonim say two. Not for me, if you have to shush the people who are being, trying to be, listen to the person who slept and he makes the bracha for everyone. You know, half the people are shushing yeah. when they enter Amen after the Sok of the Torah. The other half are sleeping. <laughs> no, they, no, 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 Oh, yeah, but something I'm talking which about. Is, which doesn't fit into any category. Well, well I thought it's a totally different question. The, the bear of the Torah creates the Torah, it's a we're not discussing that's that. Not that's not that's that's You're not comparing that if, if the one is a shvach, that the other one's a shvach? Shem? No, I'm not saying it's not, but I'm just saying it's a two. Um, well, that doesn't count. It's not Shem and Office in the second one. Huh. Where? The second one is. Oh, 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 you mean? But actually, I'll get you. So yeah, not the one you make in the morning, but the one you make when you close the I'll get to that, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I get to that tonight at this rate, but I'm yeah. definitely going to get to that. Okay. If I get, maybe today, I'm saying, but what on the nature, we have to figure out the nature of Kriya Satora, then we'll be able to answer your question. But um, Not everybody well, gets an Aliyah, so it's one of these. Right, actually, there's, a, a, no, there's a Yushami that writes that the, real, the only time you have a Birka Satora, it's if it's Birch HaTorah Barabbim. I mean, we don't pass him that way, but that's the, the Yerushalmi like that. Because they discussed you making a Birch HaTorah at home, but then making it again in Shul. We don't follow that opinion. But but there's a Yerushalmi, and some more in Yerushalmi, that according to that someone would say, if you don't make a Birch HaTorah in the morning, then the Birch the first Birch HaTorah you make might be the right son. That covers like all the birchas. You know, we don't we don't pass like that, but that's a tamachronim give shad in Yerushalmi. We will come back to that. Is there, is there an issue of making this bracha only in daytime? A birchas Torah? Yeah. I mean, irrespective of the sleeping issue. In other words, in the winter time when you go to shul and you learn before davening, and it's not yet time to daven. Right. So, it's, right, so that's actually that's an interesting kasha they discussed. They discussed that both. It's, the question is. When is the right time to make Birch Torah? Because many people are learning. We don't. We have a matzikin, so at a we can. We don't give a clap, or do we? And say everyone make a Birch Torah now. It's a new day. Right, we wait. To, so therefore, there's a time period where you're learning. For, you know, so that's a discussion in Rabbi on time. So according to the rush. If it's a hefsek issue, then it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be an issue. Because you slept. Right. But you know, I'm saying if or right, you slept or. Yeah. Or if you didn't sleep, then you're basically learning. St- if you hold like it's a birchas mitzvah, so if you're up, then you know it shouldn't be an issue. In, in, if you're not, you're not making another bracha, so it wouldn't be an issue. But I'm saying according to Rabbi Tam, that you make a bracha once a day, every day. So that's a, so that's a discussion. Let's right say you wake up in the middle of the night. Here, I forget about our laws. It's a further discussion. When should you make the birchas the Torah? Like, should you be learning on true, it's past, that goes without the bear? That's a discussion in the post actually. The meaning obviously seems not to be, that we wait too later. 
But they discuss it within the what? Say the minion is not that. If you go to an, an Allah's minion, everybody they start. No, I mean no. I'm saying the minion. The minion's true. It's night. I'm saying. Oh, that's I mean right. That's the minion. So you go to the no, minion. Right, no. Exactly. Before. No, the minion's the other. That's what I'm saying is that people say Rabbi No Tam. It's once a day, every day, but it means it's your own cycle. Like it doesn't mean you don't have to. Where do we go by Yom Balayla Halacha? Because the your question, if you want to, uh, let's say Alos is until five o'clock and you wake up at three o'clock and you slept, so the effort some say Rabbi Tam would say make the bra- This would be the bracha for that next day, even though it's in terms of it's more isn't someone at time. Sometimes you have to wait for the day because it's once a day. Others say no, it's your own personal cycle. So I think so the minute is like Joel be- saying that people do make a. You know, people when they wake up, go. They do. Maybe they don't know what they're doing anyway. But they, but they make the beer. No, sure. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, you do it before. Yeah. I'm just curious. I'm just thinking out loud. So um, how do we like for so someone who learns in the morning before davening, and you know they you go to. So but someone who just woke up, you mean? No, no. He woke no. up, goes to davening, like, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, and so davens afterwards. So it's two part question. If let's say it's already daytime and it's already for sure already, mm-hmm. you know, late in the summertime. You definitely have to, yeah. You have to say or do you or do you use the twenty four hour rule of the rush that you're that you already said it at you said it at davening oh, the day before. Time, you, mean, yeah. time. you said it at davening the davening the day before. It's good for twenty four hours. So then the next day, so then you, when you learn Daf Yomi before davening, it's it's still on the on yesterday's uh-huh. count on yesterday's right, uh, no. clock. Yeah, no, I understand the kasha. Yeah, so right, so according to the rush, you know, it should be that you should make the bracha right away when you wake up. At, when you wake up at three o'clock in the morning, because no, make it three. Make it make it like the, I'm specifically looking for. Uh, no, you, wake, you wake up at six o'clock in the morning, and uh, the is at six o'clock. I know, but it's not. It's a it's day. The it's and a let's da- make it a day. It's, it's the summer, That's like a, now. So you should be done. It's already davening time. Yeah, no. So it's, then for sure you would. Then for sure you should make the bracha before. Yeah, well, in fact, you have to. Like who would think? If you, no, you, because it, you you have your 24 hours. No, it's not before. Like, no, it's not 24 hours. Why not? Why not say before? You're right now. No, but you're, not, you're right. According to Rabbi Tam, because you're you're saying it at davening, you're saying it you're saying it in Birchas Torah. Yeah, I don't think they go with. You know, I don't think you need eight for eight, number one. But I think, but even according to Rabbi Tam, it's a Birchas Shabbat. If it is, I think Rabbi Tam does. So then, perhaps you you wouldn't necessarily have to make it before you learn. But I'm saying, are you asking Lamaisa or are you asking? As also yeah. Lamaisa as we get. Yeah, I'm saying that's no, so Lamaisa, and according to, according to everyone, you should make it before. You do daf yomi. Why is that? Why should we part davening? A lot of people say that at home anyway. Yeah, I thought the question, I thought the more difficult question that was, was B. That was yeah. why no, right. No, right. The first, this seems to be everyone should say, even if though upon your time you might, there's no reason not to. Rabbi Yosef says you can. So right. why? So and the then, other one was in the middle of that. Right. So that would be more. You know, <coughs> that would be according to the rush. It's definitely yes, because you already well, you know, you woke up. And according to Rabbi Yosef, so that's what. People ding sock and all the time. I think the minute is probably yes. That if you put, I think if you plan on waking up and staying up as opposed to yeah. going up, you want to put yourself to sleep for half an hour, go back to sleep. That's one thing. But I think the post, post if you start in your cycle, you actually yeah. wake. So then I have to check 100%. But I, you know, I think then they say you would. Be a really common question. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, I hear you. No, I think I'm. Just, I think it's just a matter of you just weren't. It's just you weren't thinking about. No. Yeah, but I'm saying a lot of people just they think it's you know it's part of tefillah. But I think that I think that everyone agrees you have to make up. In fact, in fact, the, the fact the discussion is even on tzlichus before davening. Daf Yomi, I'd say, but I'm assuming Daf Yomi there's some havana there. So for sure, but I think Slichus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it could be what it depends on. I guess that's the chat. Some people yeah. don't view Daf Yomi as learning. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe, no. But either way, so they, they point out that. <laughs> you know, for sure, and that's the Iker going to Rashi. Because no one really follows the Shir. He says the Iker is coming to the Shir. Because who really understands the Shir? That's the Iker Schar. But either way, the question is Amira Slichus, Amira Sukum derech pachanunim. That's the shaila the post can talk. So you say slichus before davening. Do you have to? And you have sukum. You're reading in the Torah. So do you have to make a birchas haTorah? Mm. So that's a machlokas haPost mm. So the two ways of some could say the issue is whether that's considered Torah or not. Whether we're just reading psukim, not the Torah, the Torah's tachanun, and whether that, and therefore, if and if you assume it's a birchas mitzvah and then if you assume everyone agrees it's a birchas mitzvah and the issue is whether it's Torah, or you say no, everyone agrees it's not Talmud Torah, and the issue is if it's a birchas mitzvah you wouldn't need it. If it's a birchas shavach so what? So then you wouldn't need the birchas Torah. So therefore, so according, but according to the Ramban, it's going to be the right so mitzvah tzirchas kavana. So you wouldn't. Right, the question so Unless you had Kavana, you wouldn't that, need right. a, Exactly, yeah. You wouldn't need oh, a, oh, but actually, I'll, I'll come to that. Do, you, do we say it by, well, maybe, do we say it by Torah, maybe Birkat's Torah is different? Yeah, but right. If you hold Mitzvah Svich as Kavana, according to the Rabban, it's the Raisa. Mm-hmm. Right. So, the, right, so, that, so some want to say it's dependent if it's a Birkat's and Mitzvah, Birkat's Shavach. Here, if you're not doing, you're not doing it, but you not, you know, that gets into another question where the reading of Pasuk. But in the Chumash is Talmud Torah if you don't if you don't really understand what you're reading. Let's say I can read Hebrew, but I don't understand Hebrew. Can I make, does that warrant a Birchas Torah? Or forget it, do I get the mitzvah of Talmud Torah? That's the f- famous Shulchan Aruch Harav, and others also agree. He says that's the distinction between Torah Shabbat Ksav and Torah Shabbat Peh. Clearly, the Chamisha Chum She Torah is a further discussion of the Chaf Dalid books of Tanakh are included, but certainly the five books that. And there's a meaning among, especially among the Svardim, Chasidim, Tikkun Leal Shvuas. That's all they do is they read through. They say you read, I guess, the beginning and end of each parish, and they say you don't really understand. But don't worry, when you get the scar later, when you whatever there's some some Chasidim just think that if, whatever you psukim you read now, you'll get, you know, I guess in 120 years you'll get to understand. So therefore, the trick is just read everything you can, read the Tikkun Zohar. Doesn't make it you don't have to understand it now, you get to understand it later. And if it's Lubavitch, read Tanya. But yeah, right, so whatever it may be, so therefore, so they, right, so therefore they point out. You wonder where I get it from. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so they point out that only for Birkas only on only on Torah Shabbat Sav, again, whether it's the five books or all 24, that's a further discussion, but clearly. So that then they sit, they, we do get scar time. There is something to reading Tanakh without understanding it. I'm not recommending it. I mean, it's a higher level to understand it, but you know, let's say someone can't. That's, mm-hmm. There is something to it. I mean, there is a lower level of Talmud Torah. But opening up a Gemara and just reading the Aramaic without understanding the word, that's nothing. Because you know, there's no Havana. Because by Torah Shabbat Sav, at least it, it's inherently that there's something to it. That's what the post can bring out to make a distinction between... It because it's Torah Shabbat Sav or because it's in Hebrew? No, because it's Torah Shabbat Sav. I mean, whether well, it happens to be Hebrew also, but... Because it's a chefs in itself, like... The Torah Shabbat Pesh should really be our pet. The fact I'm reading the Gemara, because Eis Vatsos is irrelevant. That's, it's functionally considered Torah Shabbat Pesh. But, the, you know, I don't have to be reading from a Chumash. I could be saying Sukh in my heart. So it's the fact that, you know, I guess, you know, I guess whether you're... I guess in whatever language, I guess, I guess in theory, if you only knew English, you know, I guess if you're reading, you understand. I guess if you're reading in another language, you say Hebrew, but some of you probably, unless you say you learned how to read another language without understanding it, but that's... Isn't that the Gemara in Megillah? It says that for Krishna, it does help, right? But if otherwise, for all the other tefillas, it, it makes no difference? By Kavani, you mean... No, the, the language. 
Yeah, right. So then, by in in terms of kori b'cholashin, you mean? Yeah, kori b'cholashin. In other words, I thought. No, kriyashin might do b'cholashin. Or the maybe the other way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kriyashin, you can do b'cholashin, but but tefila has to be right. the lashon that you understand, if I remember. But right, even though, and except the lashon of kodesh. I think everyone right. agrees. Right. 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 Exactly, yeah. Right. That's the issue. Everyone agrees Lashon HaKodesh works. Good, whether you understand or right. you don't. Exactly, then right. Then there's a discussion right. today. Right. It's it's yeah. Gar Megillah, you know, um, that's where they go into, you know, Brachas discuss it a little, yeah, but that's the... Go- the they special t- consideration for your bodies. Yeah, that's what, the, yeah, that's what they talk about over there in the... The Mefarshim Machomish by Noah when it talks about Yavan. Yachma, yeah. Right, because it's special because the Torah could be written in Greek, you know, the two languages, yeah, so they, that's what they talk about. Um, um, you know, in Tzvi also they discuss, but that's, um, that's the famous Mesha Chachma, about, um, well, he doesn't discuss this question, but the question is, is it better to daven in English, or is it better to da- daven in Hebrew, even though you don't understand Hebrew? Let's say I can read Hebrew, but I don't, so should I daven in English, or what? So that's the mesh. Well, they use the mesh. Well, I use the mesh to answer the question. The mesh chachma writes in the end of Bereshis, the, when it talks about the brachas over the Yaakov Ishkem, it says becharbi of akashti with the sword and a bow and arrow. So the, so the targum uncle writes with salusi uvalusi. So which means different levels of tefila. So the question is, what the targum usually gives the pshuta? What it means? Why is he telling me bow and arrows and sword mean davening? So they say because number one, it's out of order because we know we don't know anymore today. But when they used to fight the wars, so first you used your bow and arrow, but, and then when you got close to hand to hand combat, you take out the sword. So the fact that it says bechar bivakashi means it's not to be taken in the normative matter. It means prayer. So the so the meshachah was what's the difference with salusi vuhusi? So he, could, he says one's like a cherub, one's like a what's the difference between a bow and arrow and a sword. So a sword, especially a nice, sharp, shkita knife, any knife, a little tick on the neck could do a lot of damage. You don't have to do much, but you just touch the person in the right spot, that's it, he's finished. But by a bow and arrow, it's the more pressure you pull back, the further it goes. If I don't do anything, it's not going to go anywhere. That's how he explains. He says, Anshik Nezagadol will machab into the exact words of Baruch HaKodesh, however, what what words what affects God so so by reading the words of a dot which one has to be itself that's powerful like a sword so even if I don't know exactly I don't know what I'm saying at all but the words that screaming out the words are doing the trick but if I'm but it really fits in well but if you're doing another language which usually then you you would assume you'd have more kavan if you actually know what you're saying so that it's reading that fits in so that if you're going to do it in English or some other language you need more kavana which usually is the case if you're doing it in a that's language why, that's why I was asking before whether it makes a difference that it's a pasuk or that it's just Hebrew oh because no, that's what so, I was thinking of but the Meshach yeah I mean yeah well I was actually thinking of no, right but I'm saying the, so that concept the Meshach, yeah so what's the Shura of the uh, Meshach Hachma what's the what's the what language what's conclusion no he what? no What's he, he hasn't discussed that. I said, I, when somebody asks me that question, I tell them the Mesha Chachma. I just use this right. Mesha Chachma to uh-huh. d- discuss, you know. So again, there is, you know, um, I, I guess the answer, of course the answer is to do it in Hebrew and understand what you're saying. <laughs> That's the answer. For, but so what's your can, answer? My answer is, my answer is, I guess, the Menach Yisrael is to do it in Hebrew. But so I, my answer is to have a Hebrew English sitter and then, you know, the best thing is before davening or sometime, you know, start looking over to be Lebanon, but, you know, do a little bit at a time. But I'd say, if you ask me, I'd say do Hebrew, because that's what everyone seems to do. But obviously try, you know, I'd say first, you want to ask Shema, you know, the quote-unquote more important things, try to understand a little bit of that, and, you know, and then eventually understand both. But that... So your answer is art school. Or yeah. or whoever Matana maybe Matsud is translated either way but um or because you know there is you know if the bottom line there is no answer it depends on you some people like you know, could have a lot of kavanah and not know what they're saying at all at least they appear to have you know, like some people just the Hebrew itself does it for them but other people either they you know. They, you know, they don't know Hebrew that well and they prefer it in English so it could be all things being equal if the person's neutral I'll tell them Hebrew but if a person really you know wants English then you know 
and he thinks he could have more kavana. And the truth is, the problem with many people is they really can't dive in Hebrew because it takes them too long. And I mean, a lot of, I mean, a lot of people now. I mean, people let me go to yeshiva. I mean, a lot of people I know now who, you know, bali tshuva, but they really do still not a, more among women than men because they didn't have. But they really, you know, they they might know Hilcha Shabbat and kosher, but you don't realize they don't know how to daven. I mean, not only daven, they can't read Hebrew. I mean, this, and you know, obviously from all the years in shul, they pick up different words, but they don't really know it. So, so I get people tell me that if they daven in Hebrew, they take them six hours to daven. So then obviously I tell them, you know, if you don't, I said if you're if you're independently wealthy, then that's okay. But if you have to get to work, then I say go with the English. But I'm saying is. Again, there's no, I go all these answers, not one answer, but I think the meaning of it seems to be go with the charbi. <coughs> but to, again, but again, the person that's a personal question doesn't mean you, can, you can't get your English answer. That's just the way, that's just, you know, the general meaning. Now, you know, a lot of these things, it's just a general, but if a person has a specific natiya to one, then I'd go with the person, thing the person wants, you know, wants to do. But, so that's, um, to the, to, so therefore, that was um, the, the issue was slichus derech tachanunim in terms of that. So that's a machogus that you need, you know, birchas or not. And then we um, we had the question of of a, a, a mahar of a divrei Torah. Of Nachaba writes that if you think in divrei Torah, eno sarach or you wake up in the morning, so maybe you know that because um, that's the gross question. Because maybe daf yomi is okay because you just think. If you're just listening to a shir, is that considered thinking and learning, not actually learning? So the Machaba writes a Mahari of Divri Torah Ain Sarah and the Grunt is what are you talking about? The Giza Bal Yom Malai, that is Tama Torah. I thought everyone thinking and learning is learning. So therefore they want to point out the Vilna Gon Sheet is it's a Birchas HaMitzvah. So if you hold Birchas the Torah is a Birchas HaMitzvah, you certainly make a brach on hearer because Mahara of Torah, you're definitely learning Torah. However, they say the Machaber, but told it's a Birka Shevat Vahoda, and therefore, it's not a mitzvah and Talmud. So everyone agrees, Mahara, you're thinking and learning, that's learning. But the Machaber must be working with the Birka Shevat Psha, and, 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 and someone appointed, that even according to the Machaber, if, you, if you're writing Chidushi Torah, or just writing Torah, period, and you're not spelling it out, so then even the Machaba would agree that you should make a Birka Satorah because it's Torah that has the ability to be given over to others. So either you're articulating it or you're writing it down so someone can look at it. But Maharir is only in your head. So therefore, someone want to make it further. According to the Gerard, there's nothing to talk about. But someone wants to even according to the Machaba that if you're writing Torah, you would, even he would agree that you should make a Birka Satorah because that's something which is F sharp to give over to um, someone else. But not if you're thinking it. Right, right. But thinking is the machok is machaber and the gra. The gra says you definitely do make it. So then, in fact, as soon as you've washed your hands in the morning, you'd have to make it. Exactly. Yes. Therefore, there's no reason. That's why we should. There's no reason not to be cautious for the gra and make it right in as early as possible. Of course, there's going to be a couple of seconds right now because the second you wake up, you have the Torah. What about people who dream? What about the ones? The, what about? What, what did the Gerard do in Machabra, those who got the Malach was teaching him during the sleep? I guess it was never a hefsek then, it was going on the bracha before. But either way, that's, um, so that's a Machob, the Gerard, but it seems to be called a Birkas Mitzvah, Birkas Hasheva, as well as whether Nashim, because the Machabra writes Nashim, Mavarchas, Birkas Torah. What do you mean Mavarchas? They have to or they can? So the Bhagavad Ram says the Chayev, they have to, because, it's, because, they, have, because they have to make they're chayev to learn kosher Shabbos and things that are nageya to them. And the the Vilna Gaon says, what are you talking about? It means he holds it to birkas ha mitzvah, and therefore it's like any other mitzvah that a woman are put from. Just like by his man grama, they have the option of doing it, and they have the option of making a bracha according to the Ashkenaz. So to the other, it's only an option to make it. So that's so, because the Machab writes, Nashim Mavarchos. I understand the Birchah, the, mis- the Mitzvah isn't the Birchah, the Mitzvah is the new Torah. And no, but, does it, but no, according to the, the Vilna Gon, Birchah Torah is a Birchah Sa Mitzvah. So yeah. Therefore, you, you, you make the Bracha before you learn Torah. According, so, so according, no, so according to, 
Right, so according to the Gura, the women have an option. They could learn Torah without the bracha. Because it's like, it's like they make a bracha, let's say, according to the Machaber, that is. You know, the is to make the bracha. But let's say, let's say, let's say the Machaber, what she says, let's say a woman sits in the sukkah, she doesn't make a bracha. A woman, because you can't say Vitzivano, yeah. according to. But according to the Ramah, our meaning is that a woman can. I don't know if she, I don't know if she has to, but the Minig Ashkenaz is, that's how the Gra learns, it's no different, it's a Birkat mitzvah, and it's no different than any other mitzvah that a woman is part of from, she can make the bracha. So according to the Mechaber, she has to, according to, so therefore the woman, we pass and the woman should, because Ramanasha, according to the Gra, they can, and according to the Mechab, according to the Magar Ram, they have to, so no one says they can't, but therefore the Minig is women do make a, the Torah, but what does the Rambam say? Or like, the, like Rabchaim, how they learned the Rambam. Right, it depends how... What the woman... What does the Rambam say? Right. The Rambam passed that you don't, you do say, even though it's a technical thing that's the same as That's the Kasha, yeah. It says you do. Yeah, it's the yeah, Kasha on the Rambam, because the Rambam normally passed in a woman don't it's make funny, a... Yeah. yeah, don't make no, a so bracha. So they have a right. So they have that's so they come on to the Rabchaim, or... Or the Ramban, whichever one you want, that is on the Chesed. So it couldn't be the Ramban because right, he, doesn't I mean, want to, he doesn't want to be arguing. He wants to work with the Ramban. Right. Right. But if a woman is learning only in order to know the halachas, practical halachas that she'll need to, 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 to fulfill the, the various mitzvahs, then it's not, that learning is not as Tamatara. That learning is a hefta that, for those mitzvahs. Yeah, it's the Kaya. That's the Yesa Kasha. The Yesa, you hold that the only purpose. If you assume that the only reason women have to learn is not out Talmud Torah, but a Hechet Himsa to know them, so they discuss, then, you know, normally we don't make a bracha on something which is a means to an end. So that gets, that gets into the Gemara and the Dara about why it was the base of mixtures. Ama Avda Aret Shalom Baruch Bracha Tchila. So what's that? So there's, um, so there's a base Halevi which point, points out that people didn't know, like, they asked, no one knew what was going on until God had to tell them. So apparently they must have been learning because if they, because if the Chazal, the rabbis would have seen people not learning. Apparently they were learning, but they didn't make the Birkas HaTorah. So what was the mistake the Beis HaLevi said? The Beis HaLevi says, that mis- why did they make a Birkas HaTorah? Because they mistakenly assumed the whole purpose of learning Torah was to know what to do. Not Torah per se, not Talmud Torah per se, but it was a Hecha Timson. They didn't realize that in addition to that, but the Talmud Torah is a mitzvah independently of learning. Right, which hence the Kashmir. So then they discussed that question regarding Nashim. On, you know, on, it depends on which reason you take why they have to. But that's, a, that's a good Kash according to that Shita, then why, and it's asked by the Achron, and why would, you know, they come up with different answers. A white woman, then if you assume they don't, if it's a Birch Shabbach, then of course they make a bracha or a chesed. It's nothing to do with the Lima Torah. If you assume I to out Birch a mitzvah, and you're telling me they don't have, you know, that there is no mitzvah of Talmud Torah per se, you know, let's say there is a mitzvah of Torah in addition to um, the practicality for Shabbos and that, but, that, but they, you know, they do discuss that.